So one time you're, there was a deer that had been hit and your grandmother, she ate it, <laughs> she cut, cut it up. What happened? Tell me the story. Yeah, so I'm from Northeast Wisconsin where there's mm -hmm. a lot, there's a large populace of white-tailed deer. And um, I've hit four deer in my life. In high school, I hit four different deer. Dangerous. They're everywhere. I mean, they jump out in the street, right? I drove a 94 Dodge Intrepid and I hit a deer and a big part of my fender broke off and stuck in the deer. And I didn't know what to do. So I drove home and I was like, Grandma, I hit a deer. And I come home from school that day Mm -hmm. And the fender was laying on the kitchen table, covered in blood and deer fur. And she was like, well, I went and got it for you. And I'm like, oh. But it's, it's really dangerous to hit animals like that, like hitting a javelina, like where I'm from in Texas. Yeah. Um, or there's a lot of deers, but you're lucky to be alive, you know? Uh, yeah, they jump. Deer are huge. White-tailed deer are huge. You hit mm -hmm. a deer full speed. I mean, you come through the windshield, like antlers coming through the windshield, stabbing the trachea. Let me tell you about my incident with grinder. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez. so I was on Tinder mm -hmm. and I was having a Tinder time here in LA, you know, but then when I get over there to Texas, I said, well, there are no, I oh, want slide one a week. Yeah. Or is it this way? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then I said, well, they're on Grinder, So I put yeah. myself on there and one man, mm -hmm. he was telling me I could go to the shed because his wife was sleeping and I could go to the shed in there with him. I don't know about that. <laughs> and then he was up and down Fulton Beach Road. Oh, I'm down on Fulton Beach Road. And he would take pictures of his ding -ling, and that thing was the ugliest eggplant <laughs> I have ever seen. I hope they're not watching. We might have to edit this. <laughs> yeah. Attempts on the rock. Well, I'll tell your wife, and you know who you are. Because <laughs> I, oh gosh, I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> We don't need to worry about it. Uh -huh. Is this what Halloween? Is, yes, that Halloween yes. show we did. Oh, that's when I went over the blindfold. Yes! I my eye makeup in time. Yes! Yeah. No, but you, it's just, you, I didn't know that, but... I, I think that's probably what no. the case. I, mean, I think maybe I was trying to uh, have it appear intentional, but it might have been due to negligence rather well, don't than... don't tell negligence. me that. Don't, don't, just ignore well, no, that. No, no, no. So, oh, that's when I made the decision to go out blindfolded and for the meeting grade. As well... A, as an art, as a performance art piece. Well, the, you know, I took it that way. Mm -hmm. And I say it, by God. She really knows how to step up her <coughs> That's for the feminists out there. Kelly, you like that step up <coughs> Kelly Mantles again, Sheila. Anyway, so, so, but you, you the way you are, this is your, your boldness and you're open and not afraid to just say whatever you want to say. And I just really admire that. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. I mean, I, I certainly feel the same way about you. Oh, well, thank you. I'm much more reserved than you are, though. I don't know about that. <laughs> I have to show you something that happened last night. Okay. So last night I DJed at Heart in West Hollywood, right? Mm -hmm. And somebody in the audience knows that I love you and they know that I love the um, the dead body story. Dead bodies, yes. Okay, I'm DJing. I look out in the audience and look what I see. Look what I see. Somebody holds this sign up. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Tell him what the sign is. You gotta says. tag me. I found a dead body. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it was a gay guy and he was dancing the music holding up a sign that said I found a dead body. Well, you better tag me, girl. I should tag you. That's right. But publicity, I was, publicity. But I was like, if nobody knows. Oh, gosh. Oh. Uh -huh. if, yeah. if people don't know about that clip, uh -huh. they just see a gay guy in the club with a sign that says I found a dead body. Well, so they're like, okay, Jeffrey Dahmer energy. Well, I'm really glad to know that I set a trend. You really did. I mean, and people like those morbid stories. And if they like those morbid stories, I'm gonna tell them more. In 2003, uh -huh. I had a video called Soccer Practice, which was- Football uh, in other countries. <laughs> right, it was <laughs> soccer practice as a metaphor for gay sex. Okay. And it was a really huge smash hit. Mm -hmm. I looked very different. Mm -hmm. I was thin, I wore mm -hmm. rhinestone jeans, I had a t-shirt that said gay mm -hmm. pimp and rhinestones, and the concept of the video was me appearing in the locker room mm -hmm. and taking a sexy straight jock on a journey through homosexuality. A sexy straight jock. Mm -hmm. You probably enticed him to the Hellacious feelings of heaven. Um, well, that was the concept of the video with drag queen cheerleaders, uh -huh. hellacious feelings of heaven. Mm -hmm. And it ended up being like a gigantic hit. It got on MTV Asia and Europe. And See? I spent a couple years uh, being a pop star, which was really weird. Tell us about being a pop star, like Pete Burns. Oh. Okay. I used to like to play Plane Crash. Okay. That was one of my fun games I like to play. And I always sit on the back of the plane in case it does go down. I wouldn't want to be in a plane fire. And if you fly out of the plane and on the ocean, you hit that ocean, you're going to smack dead. Okay. Um, I fantasized about dying in a plane crash 
Of course, it's fun. That's the funnest way to go. At least you'll make the five o'clock news. Right. Do you, do you ever get scared? I, I've never been able to understand the, the, the fear of, um, of flying. I'll tell you something. Chanel doesn't like turbulence, right? For she Paws Drag Race Chanel, she's over there in Las Vegas. Okay. Well, well, and um, she has her brand new Christmas store as well. Chanel, did you check that out? I check know. her out. She listens to electronic dolls and stuff. Chanel, so, like Coco Chanel? No, she, she's a, oh. she was an anti-Semitic or whatever, wasn't she too? That Coco oh, she, Chanel well, nasty. Right. Kill her. Ah! Uh, <laughs> hey, you know I'm quick. Is she enough? She, okay, no. That question got me working. I, I can see mm -hmm. that. I started a makeup company about two and a half years ago mm -hmm. because I love makeup. I've been a product junkie for forever. Product junkie. Yes, so even when I started doing drag, even when I had very little pocket money, I would be like at the CVS looking at the newest Revlon products. I just love makeup. Makeup. And so then I was like, well, how come you can get really cool pro products at like Nigel's that are all in like black packaging, simple, 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 but you love the formula. Right. And then there's fun packaging, but the formula's not great. Right. So I was like, what if I could do something where we'd have really fun packaging and then really good formulas? And then it caught on and if, I mean, we've been open almost two years, th three, almost three years now, which is so crazy. I mean, we hire a new person every like four months. We're constantly growing. We're almost, you were just over at the warehouse with me. Mm -hmm. We're almost out of space in there. We're probably gonna have to move. That's great. T yeah. for quality. Quality. Trixie quality. Small batch, baked in small ovens by grandma's. Oh really, grandma's. I'm glad you got them working. Hey queen, how many years? We did it for eight seasons, yeah. Eight yes. Years. Eight years, you're done? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Taking uh, a hiatus? Uh, yeah, it's definitely on hiatus. Uh -huh. And uh, if people, to be honest, Tammy, the market is very crowded with people trying to talk to people from Drag Race. Mm. And I think like in the beginning, it was extremely fun and special and mm -hmm. everyone would come on the show. And then as the show got bigger, it definitely got... <laughs> An airplane, dead airplane. Chemtrails. Not intros. <laughs> McGovern. Yes. I forgot to say your last name. I just called you Johnny. Well, I'm sure you can put it at the bottom of the okay. show. <laughs> Johnny McGovern, ladies and oh, gentlemen. Only 15 minutes into the show, everyone. What's your favorite kind of breakfast? My favorite kind of breakfast? I know yours isn't the British one. Hey, that is absolutely true. Remember, we saw each other in London. Disgusting. Sorry, yeah. can I swear? Yeah, you can say okay. emphasize Okay. Disgusting. disgusting. Yeah. I don't like their thick bacon. They call that Canadian bacon style stuff. Slap. Hus. Wet. Thick. Slap. Oh God. Spotted dick. I've never really had that dessert. Have you? I don't know what that is. I mean, spotted I, dick. It's a dessert. It's a dessert. I thought uh -huh. it was a. Oh. Not a, a not a hematoma on it or something. Right. Not a monkey pox ridden penis. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Did you get the injection? I did. Okay. I got the first one, but then I guess now it seems to be that all the second ones are just. Disappearing. Yeah. Well, the planet's overpopulated. That's true. What do you think about that? Well, I think, you know, it's, we'll get into the kind of like doomsday prep, like yeah. where am I gonna go? How am I gonna cope with the end of the world? I think we often forget that we're in the middle of it right now. I have a reputation. Okay. Town to town. Town to town. City to city. City to city. People will come up to me. And they say. I wanna sniff you. Oh my God. <laughs> I wanna smell you. Uh-huh. I hear you smell good. Really? Uh huh. And where did that begin? On the road! Because you just, as you put your head out of the bus window and your beautiful scent I just played among the trees and they said, What is that? It's Tammy, Tammy Brown. I will complain about the Greyhound. Uh huh. I've had to take it recently for small gigs in certain areas, rural places, so to speak. Mm. That m made me late and dropped me off right there in a New York City, oh, Ports Authority. Port Authority, oh The highest place. caliber, Tammy, the highest f My ass emphasize mm. My ass. Tell me more about that, Tammy. And, and then do you remember that dressing room, though? Remember yes. when we were in Alaska, literally in a dark hallway? And it was like, I thought like, I'm doing a show with Tammy in Alaska, I've arrived, and well, it was like, <laughs> it was like a dark, wet hallway, and we were all like, in well, our panties and all Well, I work. thought it was, you know, no tea, no shade. I did think that maybe it was one of, you know, Alaska's costumes or something. <laughs> <laughs> the dirty wet floor. <laughs> no, oh, I didn't think about that. I would have said something. I don't want to say I remember being slapped in the face with reality of like, wow, now that this is my first like grown up gig. And then those meet and greets sometimes, they're exhausting. And the things people come up and say, you, you know, we're not counselors sometimes. You have to tell them, right? Uh, 
Yes, Tammy. Mm -hmm. Tammy, no one's ever come up to me and said, I love your drag, mm -hmm. or you did a great show tonight. Uh -huh. They go, oh, Trixie, my mom was murdered. Really? Yes, and they go straight to like, my father uh -huh. lost both his legs. I'm not really sure how to do this. I thought I could hey, do it with my mouth. Let me show you something. If, can you do it with your mouth? I have very low lung capacity because of the cigarettes, but we'll see. Okay, so when is it that y'all are no. coming back to the States here now, Tootsie? Um, probably, that's probably around October, I would say. I yeah. see the clowns do like this, stretch, 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 oh, stretch, that? stretch, stretch. And, and repeat it though. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. I am not a clown class, but I need you to say that. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. 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 Yeah, pretty okay. good, okay. okay. Should try it one more time? And then do oh, no. it like this. Pull it a little bit like this. You can be like, baby, I know you're small, but let me try to get this on there. <laughs>